Well, when Alex Rodriguez hit his uh, 3,000th hit, which happened to be a home run, the young man by the name of Zach Hample caught the baseball. And at the time, he said that he was not going to give it up. But there was a press conference today at 530 in the big room at Yankee Stadium. And Zach presented that baseball to Alex. And Alex was overjoyed to get it. He's going to give it to his two daughters who land in town today. And Zach joins us here in the booth. Zach, why the change of heart from I'm not giving it to him and having a nice press conference doing a nice thing? I had a meeting late in the game with Randy Levine, and in just telling him about myself, he was asking questions. I mentioned my involvement with a children's baseball charity called Pitch In for Baseball that provides baseball and softball equipment to underprivileged kids all over the world. And uh, Mr. Levine said that the Yankees would consider making a sizable donation to that charity if it would help me decide what to do with the ball. Now, you also said during the press conference, and I found it interesting, if that meeting or any of the interaction with the Yankee people had been heavy-handed, it probably would have turned you off, but you really felt comfortable the way they dealt with you, right? That's right. They treated me so great from the very moment that I got the ball, and uh, that really made a big difference. And I guess I would just like to apologize to Yankee fans for taking two weeks to make up my mind as far as what to do with the ball. I just knew that I needed to leave the stadium with it that night, take it home, slow the process down. There were a million people getting in touch, making offers, saying good things, saying bad things, and I just had to think about it. And it took two weeks for the process to play out. Now, one of the things that happened today was the Yankees gave a check $150,000 to the charity. Tell us about the charity and, and why it's so important to you. I've been doing my own fundraisers for them since 2009 basically getting people to pledge a little bit of money for every baseball that I snag over the course of the season. And I come early for batting practice. I, I usually snag hundreds of balls every year. So the money has added up to about $40,000 to this point. And uh, the charity, it helps communities where there's just not much money and the kids can't afford equipment, as well as communities where they might have been hit by natural disasters. You know, a whole Little League might have their equipment shed wiped out, so pitch in for baseball steps in and gets the kids back out onto the field. One away here in the uh, third. 2-1 count to Joey Butler. We're talking to Zach Hample, who uh, caught A-Rod's 3,000th hit, which was a home run. It's pretty interesting that, you know, you've written a book that You've caught over 8,000 baseballs. A lot of people take it literally that you caught them during games, but you catch them during batting practice. And how, I mean, how do you line it up that you know where to be? Right. Uh, the 8,000 is not all foul balls and home run balls. Uh, I have gotten 32 base, 32 home run balls during games. You know, Mike Trout's first career home run and caught a Jeter homer, a Bombs homer. So there have been some big ones. For me, it's all about making sure that I have a little bit of room to move. As you can see there with the A-Rod ball, it was pretty much hit right to me on the stairs, and I didn't have to move that much. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, pretty shocked when I first got it. So all the strategies that I used were kind of moot right. with that one because it was just incredibly lucky to hit it right to me. And that, those were season tickets. You're here every game, right, in those seats? Yeah, I, I sometimes skip the day games because I tried to avoid sitting out in the sun. But, yeah, night games, I'm usually here, and that's my spot. I love it out there. I'm curious, Zach, you took the ball home with you. Did you go home Subway that night? No, Eddie Fastook walked me and a friend out across the street, got us a cab, got into the cab, which then drove half a mile to where my friend's car was parked. Okay. And knowing that, any, that Eddie is uh, carrying a couple of guns with him, I felt very safe. And he made sure that we were in the car and on our way before he took off. So, I mean, that was also part of the process that the whole Yankee organization took care of to make me feel great about this. Here's the 1-1 one, one to Longoria. Were you offered any money for, for yourself? I know that uh, as part of this transaction today, you got an A-Rod signed jersey, a couple of bats, good catch, I think A-Rod wrote on it. Yeah, even though I didn't really catch it, I picked it up off the ground, but I'll take it. You know, I accept all compliments. It's a line drive in the box score. Sure, why not? Um, you know, the Yankees offered me a bunch of tickets and some perks as well at the stadium, so I, I was never looking to get rich from this. You know, I've never sold a ball in my life. I give away a lot of balls to kids and I've donated some to the charity. You know, there's been a lot of false accusations out there that I knock kids down and I'm aggressive. I welcome anybody to come out and watch me during VP. You'll see that that's just not my style. Talk to the security guards. They're out there every day. They wouldn't tolerate any, any shenanigans. So, yeah, I try to keep the peace out there. This must be pretty cool for you. I mean, it's, it's not even your 15 minutes of celebrity. It's almost a half hour. It's kind of embarrassing. No, I acknowledge that I've gotten way more attention for my 
dweeby little hobby of chasing baseballs than anybody deserves. Uh, people accuse me of holding on to the baseball for two weeks to generate more fame for myself. I just needed time to think about it. And if I can use this so-called fame to uh, bring some awareness to pitch in for baseball, uh, that's, that's really what I'm happiest about here, making something positive happen in the world. Kind of uh, tough for you, though. You, you had the press conference at 530, so there was no snagging of batting practice balls today. You know, the Yankees did let me in the stadium a little bit early today. <laughs> okay. Um, so I got a little head start on the competition. I was out there in right field, got a few baseballs, just to make sure that I kept my streak alive. You know, I've gotten at least one ball at every game going back to 1993, more than 1,100 consecutive games for me. And I didn't want it to end on this day. Can you imagine? I, I get the 3,000th hit, but right. then I can't even get one in BP. That would have been terrible. 2-2 two, two count on Evan Longoria. Two outs top of the third. And the pitch. Broken bat, fly ball right field coming on Jones, and that will do it. Zach, congratulations, and congratulations to the charity as well. $150,000, that's great. Much appreciated. It's great to be on here with you guys. You got it. Be well.